My name is Dorothea Schilling. Uh, I had the struggle with the turp, the, the turp and the smell of the oil, especially. But it was okay on smaller scale. But when then I did the mirror on my wall, it was quite uh, difficult. And I had to do it with open windows because I did use a lot. <laughs> I wish I had even a bigger room where I can make a lot of mess, but I can't. It was just part of the garden, the garden of my house, yeah. And uh, I just thought it's a wasted space. <laughs> I don't use it, it never had enough sun. When I built the extension, I had the idea of columns and there was a natural sort of column uh, uh, that I integrated in the building. And I always was in love with Roman and Greek architecture, especially the columns. So I uh, got to keep some of the uh, original features. That was all my idea to keep it. But the builder at one, one day I wasn't here and he kind of uh, went ahead and shaved down one of the arches and I lost that and I stopped him from doing any more. And then eventually I needed something to put in the middle which I found then in a book, and that was Venus and the Cherubs. I believe I, I found myself as an artist of creating something that isn't existing. It only exists the moment I finish it. it it's not something you see in nature. It's not around you. It's not, and, and I love to play with the color and the balance of colors. Names like galaxy eyes, galaxy glass, uh, you know, what, what would glass, universe glass look like, or, or, or eyes, and, and, and I just love combination of colors. Uh, well, galaxy eyes went to the Royal Academy. I was uh, in 207 at the Royal Academy, and, um, and some other abstract painting was uh, picked out of 70,000. I came in the top 10 which gave me a lot of um, reassurance that uh, you know there is something uh, again color is color is my main thing i'm inspired by a color i fall in love with a color and then i balance the color what i'm creating right now is reviving a uh, constructive vision and art form in that was created about 1913 and i am basically using different media. I'm using not just paint, I use a canvas and I use paint, uh, but I produce something else onto it and, uh, and to create a painting, but it's, it's not just, um, it's almost a sculptured painting. It's a painting that is part sculpture and part painting. My latest exhibition was in East London in a space known as Ruby in Shoreditch. In East London, there are many galleries, small and large, for example, the White Cube. Art is a very big thing in Shoreditch, where the Prince's Trust is located. These days, East London is a happening place with people from the West End coming to galleries, restaurants and clubs. This exhibition represents a change in direction for my art. It's sculpture on canvas. That's how I would describe the new work at Ruby in Hoxton Square. This show was called Crossroad and it expressed ideas about traffic, congestion, people racing against time, rush hour, airport terminals, freeways and urban development. And uh, one of my uh, abstract series, uh, The Galaxy, um, I was picked for the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition in 2007. And in 2008, one of my paintings called Rhapsody in Blue was picked out of 70,000. I came in the top 10 
um, as the top 10 uh, abstract artists at the Saatchi uh, online gallery. My art is very, very vibrant and very, very colourful. I, I say always, I have a bread and butter job. <laughs> so this is what I do. I still work to support and pay my bills and be able at the same time to be creative. And, um, and uh, one, of, one of the difficulties is, as an artist is also to sell yourself and market yourself. And it's not natural to everybody to be creative and at the same time know how to market yourself. If people would realize to buy from an original artist, they, they might stand a chance that the artist one day becomes a name uh, in the art world, uh, even when they die. A lot of art artists, I hope I'm not one of them <laughs> when I'm dead, but uh, whatever, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, at the moment, it's, in, it's very few artists who make money, but then the ones who do, they're, they're, they make obscene amount of money. I'm not about to walk naked down the street to get publicity for my art. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I, I'm not, I'm, not um, I'm too shy in a way. <laughs> I don't know how to promote myself really very well.